All right, the next Bitcoin bull run, whenever that is, will be the very first cycle that's this time supported by established financial institutions. We've talked about this before. I've broken down the list with you before. Why? Why the largest financial firms in the world right now are setting up their infrastructure, are opening up their on-ramps, and are ready for the next Bitcoin bull run. Pay attention to what the smart money is doing right now because the list is ever-growing. Fidelity, NASDAQ, IBM, Facebook, JP Morgan, Amazon, Harvard, Yale. It's a mix of tech and retail giants, financial firms, think tanks, and so many more. So many more institutions that, if nothing else, are betting that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency have a lot of room to grow. Question for you. Are you going to bet against the most successful companies and investors in the world? Well, today I have an additional company I want to put on your radar that's just been added to this list. I also have the most recent updates regarding Binance, Ethereum, Basic Attention Token on Twitter, EOS, Cardano, and of course, Bitcoin. We have a lot to go over today, so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss one of our daily videos. That being said, like always, let's jump in and let's take a look at where Bitcoin is right now. Now, the price of Bitcoin, it really hasn't changed that much. We've just sort of been consolidating these last three, four days. But what has changed and what I want to put on your radar is one big bullish indicator that you just turned bullish for the first time since May of 2018. In fact, let me close out of the 100 day and 50 day moving average so we can just focus on the 200 day moving average. What do you see? Well, ever since the price of Bitcoin popped up above $5,000, $5,000 Bitcoin, we surpassed the 200 day moving average, which is by itself a bullish indicator that the trends are turning from bearish to bullish. But what I want to point out is that ever since the price of Bitcoin popped and has consolidated above the $8,000 price point, the widely tracked, heavily looked at 200 day moving average has curled bullish for the first time since May of 2018. So it's pretty much been one full year that the 200 MA had a bearish bias. And for the first half of this month, yeah, at the time we weren't really sure we had began to flatten out earlier this month, but really for the last two, three weeks, we finally curled bullish again. I just wanna put this on your radar. What this tells me, what this tells a lot of institutions, I should say, that this is one more indicator, a strong indicator, further confirming the trend from bearish to bullish. Keep an eye on it. I'll keep you updated, but let's get to the news. You're gonna like this because I have one more institution. I wanna add on to this already immaculate list and that institution is AT&T. We just got word that AT&T has teamed up with BitPay to now accept their bill payments in cryptocurrency. So if you wanna pay your bill to AT&T, you now have the option to pay using Bitcoin, to pay using crypto. I do want to go over some of the specific details of this partnership because there's two schools of thought. There are some people saying that this is great for the space because AT&T has a ton of monthly active users paying their bill. And there's some people that are saying that, hey, this doesn't really matter because Bit BitPay is a third party service and it's not really AT&T except in cryptocurrency. So let's go over the details. The telecom giant just announced yesterday that will accept bill payments in the form of crypto by way of BitPay. As it stands, this is just for bill payments at the moment because the crypto option isn't being extended to other AT&T services such as buying phones or other devices. And as of yet, BitPay will not work in the AT&T storefronts. So this is just online, just to pay your bill. That being said, the company has noted in a statement that its customers, the customers of AT&T, they do use cryptocurrency and the new offering is intended to give them their preferable option. So AT&T is saying that, hey, we'll accept your money whatever way you want to give it to us. If you want to pay in Bitcoin, pay in Bitcoin. If you want to pay in dollars, pay in dollars. What I liked is we have some direct quotes from the superiors at AT&T telling us why they've started to accept cryptocurrency. We're always looking for ways to improve and expand our services says Kevin McDorman, vice president at AT&T. We have customers who use cryptocurrency and we are happy that we can offer them a way to pay their bills with any method they prefer. 
So to sum this up, AT&T will not actually be receiving Bitcoins, BitPay receives them, and then those Bitcoins are sold for dollars and then are transferred to AT&T. So just know the difference. I, I would say that this still is a positive step for cryptocurrency. It's a small baby step. I liked what this user said, posted under this recent announcement. This guy gave some quality perspective. This is actually great news. It's not about AT&T accepting crypto. It's about the exposure that cryptocurrencies get from it. Many businesses now think, well, if AT&T accepts cryptocurrency, it must be legit. Everyone in here is just like, no, they're not actually accepting cryptocurrency. It's just fiat, it's converted. But here's the truth. The truth is that companies calculate their revenues and they don't want their income to be worth 10% less the next day. So nobody, at least no big company at this point, could seriously do business under those conditions. Solid perspective. I mean, AT&T is already at the top of their game, so they don't want to risk a 10% fluctuation to the downside, at least not yet. Maybe as Bitcoin gets more stable in the next five to 10 years, maybe AT&T will solely accept Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Dare to dream. Hey, let me know what you think down below in the comments, but let's keep moving on. Cardano's Charles Hoskinson reveals diversification plans in Asia and Africa. So he recently did an AMA on his YouTube channel. Sometimes I know not everybody catches it. So I just wanna go over the highlights right now. What's on the agenda for Cardano? In a recent AMA session, Hoskinson spoke about Cardano's adoption curve. Hoskinson said that Amerigo was responsible for the commercialization of the technology and added that the team was undertaking various plans for the Asian market, especially in Japan and Indonesia. According to Hoskinson, the Cardano team is currently focusing on building on-ramps for people who are currently outside of the cryptocurrency space. We have aggressively been pursuing Mongolia as a great case study for all of the kinds of things from building local currencies to air quality pilots. So this is just a little insight on where the minds of the Cardano team is at, focusing more on Asian markets and third world markets at the moment. In terms of bringing new people into the space, Hoskinson said in his recent AMA that the team was currently in talks with the Ethiopian government to develop a token for Adidas Ababa. Successful execution of the token would mean a foray of millions of new people into the cryptocurrency world, and definitely a lot of people into the Cardano world. Just something to put on your radar. As we get more news, I'll keep you updated. But moving on to our next piece of news, if you hold EOS, then you're gonna be very happy. EOS has another use case, and EOS is now available to over 40 million users on Skrill. Thanks to Skrill, now over 40 million users have direct access to the EOS cryptocurrency, which they can now trade. Now, I had to do a little bit of research to find out exactly what Skrill was, but it's pretty basic. It's a payment service. You can pay online, bet online, shop online, and now EOS, and those 40 million users have direct access to each other. I like it. Seems like a win-win to me. If you hold EOS, let me know how this has affected your daily life if you're using it. But moving on, this is big announcement for Basic Attention Token and Brave Browser. Today, we are announcing that you can reward Twitter users directly for great tweets with a little Basic Attention Token tip feature. When you visit Twitter in the Brave Browser for desktop, you will see a special tip button for each tweet. Tap on a tip button and send a tip directly to the author of the tweets. How it works is tips are sent instantly and appear in their Brave Rewards account within minutes. So this is an update because what, be, what we had before, if you chose to register as a publisher, which this channel did, you know, the Washington Post did, Twitch streamers are doing, you could choose to contribute on web pages if you wanna donate either a monthly recurring or just a one-off, donate basic attention tokens to your favorite creators. Well, as of yesterday, you can now do that on Twitter too. I wish I could show you, I wish I could show you, but I just registered about an hour ago and it says it takes about 24 to 48 hours for this to get implemented, but just wanna put it on your radar. Maybe check back on our Twitter page. There's a link in the description below. Check back on our Twitter page in 24, 48 hours. See what's up. Next piece of news, two more pieces of news to go, Ethereum. Vitalik Buterin proposes privacy solution for Ethereum transactions. So this is interesting. 
Vitalik Buterin, co-founder of Ethereum, has proposed, so it's not officially happening, it's just a proposition, has proposed a new implementation for Ethereum that would provide a degree of anonymity to one-off Ethereum transactions. So the devil is in the details on this one. And just to be clear, this is different than, let's just say, Litecoin, who announced earlier that it was exploring adding Mimblewimble option to Litecoin trans transactions. This one will essentially do the same thing, but slightly different, and it do does not involve Mimblewimble. It may seem contradictory that an open ledger, open source technology like cryptocurrency would attempt to disguise itself with anonymous transactions. However, as Buterin writes in a post published on Wednesday, click here if you want to see the post, what he said was, we need a first step towards more privacy. In a post, Buterin outlines a proposal that would allow Ethereum users to obscure their activity on the blockchain when sending fixed quantities of Ethereum. Buterin calls his design a minimal mixer protocol focused on one-off privacy transactions as opposed to gearing the entire network to anonymity in the vein of Monero or Zcash. So it's a one-off through what he calls an anonymity set. And he explains in this quote exactly what is the potential Ethereum upgrade known as the anonymity set, what that entails. Anonymity set is cryptography speak for set of users that this Ethereum transaction could have come from. For example, if I choose to send you one Ethereum and I use this anonymity set, you can't tell who exactly it was from, but you can tell that it was either from myself, Alex, Bob, or Charlie. That means that in this case, the anonymity set has a size four. The bigger the anonymity set, the more privacy that you have. So pretty interesting. As you hear the Ethereum community talk about a privacy feature in the future, this is what they'll be talking about. Last piece of news, you may have noticed that the Binance coin, BNB coin, jumped in price again today, and that's following a screenshot about margin trading from CZ of Binance. Let's check this out in a second. But the details are, in a Twitter post published on May 24th, so it just happened, the Binance team further added fuel to this speculative fire with a series of screenshots that seem to all but confirm margin training is coming in the very near future. The screenshot clearly displays the option of margin trading, a feature which is not currently available for traders. So if you use Binance, be on the lookout for a margin trading option on the platform. Am I gonna use it? In my opinion, margin trading low liquidity altcoins, to me, doesn't sound like a good idea. But if you think it's a good idea, it's an option. Anyways, that's the video for today. My name's Austin. I'll see you tomorrow.